Excellent leaders, first of all, create the right environment, a winning culture. Excellent leaders know about the human needs. Now, let me explain to you the human needs. Because if you are trying to retain people, you've got to hit these drivers. I mean, I'm going to go through the six levels of, of our human needs. And there are different ways. They, they call it different. There's Maslow hierarchy of needs. Um, if you've done any sort of um, level of science, or they go through. But the first level is the most basic level. And you, every organisation needs to supply this. It's certainty. Now, certainty is quite simply this in a team. It's, um, you, you're going to get paid on time. So you actually say, you know, because, you know, if people don't get paid on a, on a Thursday and you leave it to Friday, they start freaking out. If that's, so that you've got to give people certainty. Certainty is usually incorporated into a job description, letter of employment, um, that's certainty. Job descriptions would be an example of that. Now, what happens is, this is amazing how it operates. As soon as we become, we have so much certainty, you know what happens? We get bored. We get so much certainty in our life, we go, is that it? So the next key human need is exactly the opposite of the first one. It's called variety. So if you want to retain good people, you're going to have to actually give them variety. Now, you don't have to give them a new role, but put them onto special projects to fuel that variety. Give them an opportunity to do something outside of their natural skill set where they have a little bit of variety going on, because they need that. Give them a bit of excitement or buzz. It could be on a sales, some sort of contest, some sort of reward or recognition scheme. Really important. Bonuses, commissions, all that is variety to a lot of people. Then what happens is the next basic human need is the need for significance. And we do this by saying, look, here is your car spot. People get really protective about car spots. Your desk, office, business card, that's significance. Okay? And this fuels us, and we get our significance through our toys. So that's really important to us. So it's important to give people significance that what they're actually doing is making a difference, but they feel as their significance. The next human need is we can get so significant and get so focused on that, we have this real challenge next of, but I'm lonely. The fourth basic human need is our desire for connection. Many people have reached a great level of significance where they have the wealth of the world, but they don't have anybody to share it with. So the next basic human need is, I, I, I've got to create a, an environment where I'm actually doing things as a team. So we're going out together occasionally. We're doing some bonding sessions. Simple as a barbecue occasionally. They're the four basic human needs. Every single person, irrespective, will get those needs either inside work or outside of work. To keep great people, you've got to try to create this inside the work environment. Because many of us will actually say, I can't wait for the weekend, because what does the weekend give us? The ability to do at least three of those human needs. One of them is called connection. I'm hanging out with my friends. One of them is called significance. You don't care about me, but you know what? I'm the captain of the soccer team. And one of them is variety, where they can do a little bit of different things. The only thing I'm getting from this job is certainty. But that's not enough. 
So if they find a job that gives them more than that, they're out of there. So I've actually got to build this into the infrastructure of the systems and the culture. Now, um, many people have acquired all of this and still commit suicide. This is not the answer to the dream. Because you can be extremely certain, you can have a lot of money and you're so certain about your life, it's not even funny. You can have so much variety, you can have so much significance, and you can have so much connection, but there are two higher purpose needs that are not shown until these four are met. And this is what transfers teams and individuals from success to significance. Because this will get you successful. It may not be um, sig truly significant. It's the significant life. And these are the higher aspirational needs that we all have. Number one is I have a desire and yearning to grow. Because growth is life. So you've got to create an environment where you're growing people consistently. And it is considered the highest human need is once we've achieved everything else is legacy. How have I helped others? Now, you have a great opportunity of doing this in a work environment because you can create a culture where you're growing people all the time through constant training and education. But you also have the opportunity that your future team members are groomed to become future leaders. Because in many ways, one of the great purposes that they will find is the ability to help others on the journey that they've just gone through. Those are the basic human needs. 